We're back with the Plymouth View. Good evening, Jaden. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, Mark. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's nice to have the Championship back, isn't it? These international breaks uh, are, are a pain, but um, it has meant you've had two weeks to reflect on the Leeds result. What's your overall reflections? Um, well, yeah, we, we conceded twice in 30 minutes, which which didn't help. And then uh, and then the rest of the game weren't, weren't too bad, but... Uh, it wasn't a, um, it wasn't the best affair. It was not a great game. Uh, it wasn't a spectacle at all. But Wayne got the late goal. We held on. Um, so there's some positives to take. But yeah, it wasn't a very entertaining game. Yeah, the first half you 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 were certainly out of it, weren't you? But the second half you 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 gave it a go and almost almost got back into the game. I mean, what is it? What is it about Plymouth that you, concentration doesn't seem to be for the full ninety minutes? No, I, I I predicted two two for this game, so I was a bit gutted. But I thought we might get another late goal. Uh, I, well, it was it looked like it was coming, but it never came in the end. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's just it's a tough one. So you're back at home park then uh, this weekend for the uh, the visit of of Sunderland. Um, you're a third of the way through the the, the season now. You, you're yet to obviously be in the the bottom three. Do you do you see Plymouth as as having enough not to get dragged into a dogfight? Um, I think we could definitely get dragged into it with some of the fit. Uh, if we have a fixture run, which is not the best, but I don't think we'll stay there. I think we'll we'll come back out of it if we have a few good fixtures again. I just think we'll be we'll be around about where we are come the end of the season. Okay. Um, with being a third way through, we're going to ask you to look back at the summer now because it's now after 16 games is, is a good point to review how effective and, and good the, the scouting at Plymouth was and, and the players that you've signed. Give us your give us your overview, if you like, of of the players that you got in and, and who's shone and who's yet to shine. Well, uh, I think the players we had last season who we, who we re-signed uh, have been excellent, you know, Barley Mumba, Whitaker, they're players who we obviously built some trust with and they've carried on being fantastic for us. But the players who have come in um, perhaps haven't as much game time as they would like. Plegas Wayla and um, Hazard's obviously out of the squad now with Cooper coming back in. And then um, and then Bindu, who's just come into the squad really and then got an injury. Um, so, yeah, I think they've been overall a decent bunch of signings, but some of them we haven't seen the best of yet. Yeah, who who would you say needs to, you know, really kind of sort their act out? Who you're looking at and thinking, well, you know, we've you know we've been sold a dummy here. Um, I would say, I'd say Plegas I thought he had a very good start to the season when he when he played his first game. It was very exciting to see him come into the squad. He was brilliant in the the cup game and the the game after that I can't remember who it was but um, yeah he was brilliant and then now he hasn't really had a chance and then he played that Leeds game in a five back um, and yeah he was very poor he made an error leading to goal so yeah I'd say Plegazuelo needs to needs to be given an, another chance and, and and take it OK we'll get the Sunderland view wait there one sec OK then um, so both of you will know what it's like then to uh, travel the country to support uh, your team. Um, Jack, 800 mile round trip um, for the Mackhams this weekend. Um, coach will be leaving at what time? I'd say about 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. I can't feel <laughs> anyway later than that. I mean, th- this is dedication, isn't it? It's absolute dedication for every any Mackham fan that's making that journey this weekend. My, you know, absolutely everything. Uh, hat and everything off to you. Let's get predictions. Um, Jaden, uh, Sunder are not a bad team, are they? What are you what are you going to go with? No, they're not bad at all. Obviously, they've got Joe Bellingham and Jack Clark and uh, moment, any else you want to name. But uh, I'm feeling optimistic. We're at home. We played, obviously, a team from up that way in Middlesbrough a couple of weeks ago um, at Home Park. So, yeah, I'm going to go with 2-2. Two, two. Yep, sounds sensible. Jack? Um, yeah, it's a tough one, really, because I think Plymouth are just a bit of a dodgy one. Like, they look down there, but you, you just feel like they're doing well. I think 
all of the wins have come at home. They're, they're not easy to beat there at all. Um, it's just just one of them dodgy games. I, I like that stuff. I like, especially like watching them last year when they were tearing apart League One. But um, yeah, I, I think we've got the quality to get something out of the game. But I, I do think I don't think it's going to be a win. I, I, I'd say I'm going to go with a draw to. I'll go one one. All right, nice one. Enjoy it, both of you. Uh, Jack, good luck with um, <laughs> good luck with the travelling. We'll see you when you're blurry eyed back here uh, next week. Enjoy it both. Thank you very much. See you next Cheers, week. Mark. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.